Oh frick. In this video, I'm going to be attempting to defeat the Ender Dragon in survival Minecraft using no slow falling potions and only MLGs. I think step one is pretty obvious. Get blaze rods. I have 10 ender pearls, so I don't need that many more. Why are seeds in here? I don't have enough ender pearls, so I'll either have to barter with piglins, or maybe I'll find a warped forest and be able to just defeat endermen like that. Or maybe I can just go to the stronghold and randomly find ender pearls in the chest. Who knows? But I know the location of a fortress, so I'm gonna be just crafting a bunch of slabs and heading over there, and hopefully I won't be fireballed off of the bridge by a gas. And something that wasn't there before was the staircase. I made a staircase to go all the way up to y equals 90, because that's where I want to build my nether hub eventually. So I'll have to like shift that up a bit, but it works for now. I, I, I could have just like built it up. Like there's nothing on that layer that's super important. But over here I have a portal that I thought would bring me to a snowy land that would be filled with happy times but instead it didn't bring me anywhere. I might take down this portal sometime when I'm feeling a little brave, but for now I'm, I'm just going back. Anyways, shift key, don't fail me now. I'll just be, I'll just be very sad if you do. I've been doing so much bridging that I ran out of stone slabs and I've resorted to using basalt. Most of the way though was actually just digging, which is much better than placing the cobblestone slabs by hand because I had much less risk of dying because I jumped into lava. If you look down here, there it is. There's a fortress, it's just peeking out. You can hardly tell, like if I were just, if this part weren't here, I probably would have just bridged over there and not noticed until maybe I got a little overhead this. Also, little baby strider, that's cute. Not spelled with a Y of course, so not as cool as me. Ah, oh my gosh. Okay. That's that's why we have the guardrails. Also, the looks weird. Okay, I've just gotta stop. I've gotta stop doing this. This is very bad. I'm trying to scout out a way to get down there, but that lava is a little bit concerning, and so is that magma cube. So maybe if I can hot guy this guy, yeah. Now there's two guys, but it's it's fine. So maybe I can go bridge over here. And all right, all right, we're fi we're fine, we're safe. Now let's. Yes, there's the advancement. I'm gonna try to pillar back up there, and just make a ladder down so that I can get down safely. And now here's the real question: Which way do I put this basalt? I think the only answer is to put it this way, because then yeah, we get the. It doesn't conflict with anything, I guess. Or at least it conflicts with both equally, which I'm fine with. I just realized, if I want to place in all these ladders without having the risk of falling down there and dying, I'm gonna need to get down there again without falling and dying. This might be a little bit of trouble. But let's see if we can get it. Yeah. I did not even die. Which is very nice. That's kind of the main goal here. Also, I think this is probably more than 12 blocks. Oh, we can always just craft some more, it's fine. It's not like I needed these planks for anything else anyways. Oh no, there's a blaze! That is not good. Did, did you see that? I, I just got that. I wasn't even talking about it. Like, I, I wasn't even gonna bluff there. I, I just got it. And let's cover that up so there's less of a death hazard later on. This is a very weirdly generated nether fortress. I'm pretty sure they're not even supposed to spawn in this biome. A little safety area so that I don't die while I'm here because death is not good in case you didn't know. All right we should have enough now to fully put ladders on this and oh my gosh we had exactly enough. That's so satisfying. Hopefully it'll be fully safe now. This is very close. I'm going to do the big brain strats here and make a shield. Unfortunately, I don't have a cool banner design for the shield yet, but maybe I'll do one later on in the series. We have located a blaze spawner, but these things are always really scary. I, I, I just gotta get it, but I think that the best way to deal with them- Ah, that's- that's annoying. It's just to block them up, and then you can have a tiny little space here where you can swing at their feet. But sometimes you gotta dig out a little bit. 
which is pretty terrifying. From my very inefficient setup where I got shot a couple times by blazes, but these are arrows you, you can't actually see if I got shot by blazes, but you might be able to tell because of my carrots, I did get shot a lot. But I have nine blaze rods now, so I think that's enough to be able to get to the end, do potions, all the things that I want to do. But there's one more thing that I need to find at this fortress, and that is nether wart. Because I also need that for potion Ooh, making, diamonds. you know how it goes. And I may as well take the horse armor while I'm here. And here's another wart, but it's being guarded by a wither skeleton, so hopefully- Oh, that's not- These guys are not very short- Ah! No, 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 no! Uh -huh. Okay, eat, eat up. And bum. 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 And. Oh my gosh. That was the first weather skeleton I killed. And I got the skull first try. But it's basically worthless until I get two more. Except for like a banner pattern. Like. Who, who needs a banner pattern, but I don't, I don't know what to get rid of. I just, I guess I'm just about to eat anyways. So here's the nether wart. I can start growing this at home. There's parts of the areas, like over there, that I haven't discovered, but... I mean, I, I don't think I need to yet. If I want to, I can just come back later. I have a bridge set up. But since I got what I sought out here to get, I think I'll leave this rest of the fortress for later. And now it's back to getting home. This is gonna take a little while. Absolutely terrifying. And there are piglins over there, and... I'm not wearing a chest plate because it broke. And I'm almost out of hunger. There are many bad things that are all happening at once here. I can't even make a gold anything. But I... Oops. But I suppose we'll start by making a new chest plate. I might make a diamond one in the future, but for now, iron only is one armor bar away from being perfect, and I'm probably gonna replace it with an elytra in this episode. Oh, there's a screaming gas out of there. It's kind of annoying. And hey, the pig one's gone. Okay, we're fine. And I'm out of sprint. Hopefully, nothing tries to chase me and kill me. Or else, I will probably perish. That would be very bad. But, you know, we'll just slowly make our way over to our house. It's fine, we're fine. Nothing bad can possibly happen. Everything is going to be okay. And we'll just make our way into the portal and be fine. And as we return to our lovely abode, we can put away all that we got from our adventure and get some food. And we can use the skull we acquired to watch over us while we sleep. I think that's better. Now let's head to bed. I feel much safer now. Now that I have a Brinks and I can start making potions, one of the ones I want to make is Potion of Strength, which we can use on the Ender Dragon itself. I'm now in the process of making some potions. I just made some Strength 2 ones for the dragon so that when it perches, I can do a ton of damage, even though my sword is completely unenchanted. I think I'm just going to put like Sharpness 1 on it or something for now. But I'm also making some Weakness potions for the villagers so that I can cure them up and get good trades. And here we are at the site of the zombie villagers. So now I can just splash him. And that's just the best sound in Minecraft. It's so satisfying. It might be a little bit loud, but I, I, I like it. And since I have 30 levels, I'm gonna see if I can get a good enchantment on my sword. I see sharpness through on the sword, so let's see if we can get something else. Dang. Oh well, that, that's all we really needed, it's fine. I can just use the strength potions and I'll be able to deal with the dragon very quickly. But it is kind of annoying that it's only sharpness 3, like... If it's a level 30 chant, then at least give me sharpness 4. But, I mean, I guess I did just take it, so... What can you do? Let's uncover our new villager friends. Check it out, they're all cured up. So now, we've got to inflict our capitalism and start trading with them. And because I just cured them from zombification, they're gonna give me some pretty sweet deals. Or else. I do have a plan for building houses, but the houses aren't actually, like, built in creative mode yet or anything. Alright, this guy- oh yes, yes, yes. He has the two traits that I want. 
Let's check it out. We got our first few emeralds. I can buy some arrows with this, but I have an infinity bow. I don't really need arrows. And then that guy, we're going to have to take him out of the boat. And there we go. We got both of them out of their boats. And let's see what we get. Efficiency one. How about we try again, shall we? I, I feel like I might be here for a while. I'm, I'm gonna move this guy's workstation so it's a little easier to mine. Impaling two? I'll see you when I get one that I don't reject, so probably mending. Or maybe like protection four or something. Guys, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. This guy has mending. And by buying the bookshelf, I lock in the trade. I know he'll always have mending even if I go to sleep or move the workstation. Which is good because I wanted to move it over here. So I think I'm going to stock up on a few mending books. I just bought a bookshelf so I can get at least three with this. So I'm just going to need to get a bunch of sticks and trade with the other guy. So now I have a few mending books. So whenever I get a really good piece of gear, which... I mean, the diamond pants aren't going to get much better unless I add swift sneak. So I'll probably just upgrade those and add mending. And we'll be on our merry way to having completely enchanted pants once I do an ancient city. I'm not going to one of those things for a long time. So it's just going to be the final version for a while. One of these will definitely go to the elytra though. But I'm going to need an unbreaking book. I might be able to find that just by using the enchantment table. Who knows. But I keep hearing this zombie noise. And it's really annoying. So I'm going to try to find out what's the culprit. Judging by the sound, I assume... That the culprit of the zombie noise is probably zombies but you can't know for sure unless you see it i found it it's just this little cave there's nothing much we just need to light it up a bit and apparently an enderman's been snooping around here as well okay this cave might be a little bigger than i thought this could take a little bit but you know it's fine now it's time to enchant some stuff with mending and i also have to name this of course pants of protection I think it's pretty fitting. And I think it's only fair to name these curse splatters because I don't have feather falling on them. And maybe I'll be able to spell someday. And even once I get feather falling, it'll still make some sense. It's fine. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of villager trading to get some XP so that I can repair these up a little bit. And they're a little bit more repaired. Not great, but also not too bad. I don't know how I never noticed this, but apparently... The different armor pieces have different max durability. Like this one, it has 495. This one, it has 429. They're both diamond and they both have unbreaking 3. This one's even different at 363. Was this in the game the whole time? I always thought they had the same durability. Maybe that's because it was the same on all the tools. So now let's make our first Eyes of Ender. And we might not have enough. I think that we're going to be short on pearls. If anything, but we probably won't be short on blaze rods, let's hope. And now is the first one to make an ender chest. We can use this to store some of the things that I don't really want to carry in my inventory, but would just be useful to have generally. And then also I won't lose them if I die, which is pretty cool. And I've been waiting to do this for a little while, so let's see, this one costs eight. And this one costs 20, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with 8. Generally, the one with more enchantments goes first. And there we go, we've got a great bow. The only other things we'll need is, like, another power 4 and flame bow. So if I can just enchant a bow with power 4 and flame, or even just one of them, then that would be pretty cool. We could be able to have everything. Plus, since it's an infinity bow, it's not gonna last forever, so I'm not gonna be too fussed about getting the best enchantments. And I can just have this slot for my ender chest. Very nice. It's a good thing that it's nighttime right now because I don't know if I would have remembered to bring a bed if it hadn't become nighttime just then. And I'll take the one that no one wants to use. We have two children now, which is pretty nice, so I'll be able to grow up and I'll have even more capitalism. Throw in my first eye and it broke, and so I guess I'm just gonna have to go on with less eyes, which is really unfortunate. And on the way to a stronghold, I find a village. Of course I decide that this is the best time to find a village. Because I already have four villagers being grown up and... Ugh. Well, at least we can see if they've got anything useful for us. Like maybe a couple diamonds from the blacksmith chest. There's not really a whole lot that I would really want to take. Seeing as I am basically just about to beat the game. You know. There is a lot of sheep here. Wow. And I, I don't know if I've ever seen this many in such a, such a tight space before. Other than like in, in industrial farms. And that's where we get the, from the chest. Okay, one diamond's not bad. We 
We can actually just replace our chest plate, but I think I'm just gonna take this for later. I think I'll just leave the rest of this stuff. So this guy's an armor. These guys are really nice because uh -huh. if you die, it's really nice to be able to just replace all of your diamond armor just like that. But I mean, I've got villagers anyway. I can just get an armor at my house. Now I probably should have put protection on my chest plate. Like just even one level would be nice, but... We're a bit too far into that now. I'm, I'm probably going to set up another portal anyway and just be able to warp back home. Also, this looks weird. Do you ever do that in your Minecraft worlds? Just like every so often you just find a weird formation of blocks and you try to fix it. We're in the ocean now and this is where I theorize it should be pretty close to. It's pretty easy to find strongholds in the ocean because usually I'll just see like a weird square gravelly thing. Then there's the portal room. But the ocean is also useful for other things as well, like maybe I could find a shipwreck. I see a savanna. That's pretty good, okay. I want to grab that real quick because I don't have any acacia wood yet. That's like one of the things that I'm missing that I do really want to get. Here we are. All I need is like two acacia saplings. I don't need a whole lot from this place. I think that a savanna update might be interesting because... It's one of those biomes that you come across and then you just like never go back to. The grass is a little ugly. And was that the only tree? Okay, there are more over here. This is one of the tiniest savannas I've ever seen. I don't know I don't know what went on with this place. Like it should be getting a decent amount of rain, judging by the biomes it's next to. But you know, it's a fake block game, so who really cares? And I just fell all of the trees in the entire savanna. But that that took a very long time. And it definitely didn't take five seconds, because there are only three trees. And we go to Shreep. Um. This is slightly embarrassing. You see, I was trying to sleep in the bed, but apparently the game doesn't think that this is nighttime. But it, the, the sun's going down. I, I go to sleep at this time sometimes in real life, and it works. Like, I can actually get into the bed. Maybe if I, like, stand on top of it, my, my character will get more tired. Oh, that just happened. Yeah, there we go, it worked. But of course, the real reason we came here was to find the stronghold. So I'm gonna throw another eye. I assume it's gonna go like that way or maybe that way. Because I've been trailing a little bit. Now there is a chance that this is one of like the super far away strongholds compared to normal. My house is not exactly close to spawn. And here's another weird formation. About time to throw another eye. Where does it go? Okay, same same direction. It's it's gonna be even further out. That's that's annoying, but it's it's whatever, you know. Okay, guys, this MLG is very important, and I have to pull it off. I can't go down any other way. So come on, yeah. Okay, that was that was a pretty sketchy situation. That was, that was the only way to get out of it. I I couldn't have possibly like put water down or gravel or anything else. So. Yeah, that was that was pretty heat in the moment kind of thing. And I. Oh yes, it's going a different way. And if you're wondering why I only have five, it's because another one broke. And back up the mountain I go. That MLG was actually not necessary. Who could have guessed? My number 872. And it's still that way. Another very important MLG to pull up. I can't do it onto the tree because, you know... But I can do it onto the ground. And- Oh yes. I made it. I made it. Sweet berries. I haven't found these yet. I'm so glad I got these. Why do you like sweet berries so much, you may ask? Because- Because I don't have them yet. I guess? It's kind of like a fun new thing, you know? Oh! Oh, it's going a different direction. And it didn't break. That's nice. So it should be somewhere around here, like, this could really just be the block, but it's out of place, you know. And let's sleep on a unnecessarily precarious place. Let's see it goes. Okay. So it's definitely in the, in the middle of these. Yep, this was the block that I just broke. Okay, and for my speedrunning days... I know that this is the most optimal block to go on based on the coordinates. If you can see next to the place where it says block under XYZ, then you can see it's like negative, da da da, and then it goes 4, 4. And that's the position within the chunk. And for strongholds, 
it always generates with the center at 4-4. Four, four. And no, I'm not digging straight down. I'm, I'm being a, a good boy because I don't want to die. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. And this is the starter staircase. So I went to the exact perfect chunk. The starter staircase is essentially where the stronghold begins construction. So it just comes out from nowhere. So this might be like some kind of entrance if they had that, like a 3x3 piston door, who knows. And then it just comes down here. And all the doors actually lead to the starter staircase. So you can see this door. It goes inward. This door also goes inward. So you can check all of these doors and then they all eventually lead to the starter staircase. And the portal room is usually nearby, which is why that matters. Ooh, dripstone! That's what I've been looking for for a very long time. By the way though, if you want to make like an enchantment table and you don't want to get the bookshelf from killing cows or something like that, strongholds are a pretty good way of doing it, but generally by the time you get to them, it's a good idea to already have armor in place. You know, you probably don't need much more than just protection one or two on each piece. Mining bookshelves with a pickaxe is like mining obsidian with also a pickaxe. It takes forever. And, and you just sit there questioning all your life's decisions, like... How did I get here, of all places, where I'm mining bookshelves in a block game with a pickaxe? You know, why do you even need to get, like, self touch it? I mean, I guess it's fine, like... I do like getting infinite books from villagers, so I'm not gonna complain about it. But you, you could also just have it where you can right-click and get the books out yourself, I don't know. I don't have any more patients left, so... Oh, I missed the chest. Yay, more books! Nothing enchanted, though, so, you know, I'm just gonna leave the rest there for either another day or never, depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, I found some silverfish, which means that I found the portal room. Great. I, I just... I, I'm so glad that I have a sharpness sword, because... Yeah, otherwise I would have had a lot spawn, but it's a one-eye. Okay, that's not bad. I have five eyes of ender just ready, but the other ones, I, I can only do two more right now. So I am going to need to find two more ender pearls. Four, four more. Okay, that's... That's a bigger problem. And nothing. And I'm gonna refashion this into a portal room with two portals in it instead of just one. And light it. So I'll be able to go to the nether. Hopefully it doesn't link up to one of our original portals, but it probably wouldn't because we're like thousands of blocks away. But hopefully I can find my way back in the nether. It's, it's gonna be a little while. Also, it's probably a good idea to do that because my inventory and ender chest have a lot of things in them. Also, yeah, don't, don't worry. If Etho's watching, he, the, oh, come on, I just misplaced one of them. It's, it's fine. It's, it's alright. Yeah, there we go. And we already have a piglin spawned. Yay! Now I gotta get four more ender pearls somehow. Maybe I'll spawn in a warped forest, I don't know. And here we are, in the middle of a basalt delta. Does not look like I've made any bridges over here, so this is completely new territory. Hopefully this is the last bit of long never there travel that I have to do before I get an elytra, because I do not particularly enjoy doing nether travel. It's very, very stressful. And look at that, there's the fortress right over there. You can not really see it very well. But I don't even think that's the same fortress. That's a completely different one than I visited before. I think I'm gonna attempt to bridge over to the fortress. Although, yeah, that doesn't sound very good even in my head. So I'm not sure how it could possibly do well in practice. I am just now realizing I could have made fire resistance potions. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. But maybe I guess I thought I wasn't going to be bridging over a basalt delta with a gigantic lava pool and going to another fortress? I don't know. So apparently, this fortress is actually going further away from my home than the bridge started at. And, and by going this way, I'm actually getting closer. So yeah, that was a... Uh... Oh, there's a little bit of a goof up there, but I mean, I guess if I need another fortress for some reason, then I can... 
go part of the way without using firework rockets. Yay. I was just tunneling through and I found my original bridge. That's great. It's fantastic. Ah. Okay, I thought you were a big guy. But even the small ones are actually a bit of trouble because, you know, I'm not wearing any armor right now. I should probably put that on and maybe install some guardrails as well. And let's get our stuff back on. Now for the deadly part. Just making a simple little stairway. Very zen, very calming, very peaceful. I love making bridges over imminent death. I think the best idea though is probably to just get a ton of gold and find a couple of piglins to trade with. We are going to need a good amount of gold, so I'm just gonna hop, pop that into the blast furnace and maybe a little bit into the regular furnaces as well. It is nighttime though, so maybe if I let things spawn in a bit, I'll see an enderman or two. But there are a lot of zombies. Prime suspect is the same reason that the cat is there, and that's the village. Right, the best way to counter a baby zombie is with water. They, they can't move. They, they're just so slow. Oh no! He took my pumpkin seeds! That means that he trampled the crop and was just bold enough to just be like, These are mine now. And that, I can't stand for this is a strength spider. I built this little dripstone contraption that's dripping lava, as you could see by the particles every so often. And so that's gonna fill up the cauldron in a little while, which means that I'll be able to scoop up lava and have an infinite source. And there is a small pack of piglins of, like, one that can trade. And so he's gonna try and murder me, but- Oh, I got gold, yeah, yay, gold. And now you're trapped. See? You can't do anything. And so I'm just gonna wait here until he trades like all the- No! So I'm just gonna wait here until he trades everything, which is going to take a while because there's only one of them and I have to trade like over a stack of gold. So, you know. Oh, he traded pearls! Now I have enough! Okay, I'm just gonna wait for him to trade a little more. I don't need any more than just like a couple of pearls, like the four pearls that I just got are all I need. So any pearl trades after this are not going to be very useful anyways. But we may as well get them so that I can like save time defeating Enderman, I guess. Before I get to the end though, I do need to get some food. I think I should probably just upgrade the chicken coop a little bit. And the chicken's already going in here. Don't go, don't. Stupid chickens. Well, they're not expecting it, boom. And we don't need anything fancy here, but I want to use something fancy anyways. And we can put a water down. And they'll all flow into this little area. I've got a lot of tools. My pants and my shoes are all repaired. I added protection too to my chest plate. And I have some fire res, a bunch of food, some gaffles, and a bunch of blocks. So I should be pretty much prepared for whatever comes. And here we are, just about to visit the end. Let's go to sleep one last time before we decide to take on the dragon. One, two, three. And there it is. The end portal has opened itself up. Let's go in. And we're already in a precarious position. We'll say. We're bridging over the void. Bridging of the lava is scary. Bridging over the void is absolutely terrifying. Because one wrong move and you cannot do anything about it. You can't even use a fire resistance potion. And there's the dragon. There she is. One of the best ways to actually get to these is by just going up and pillaring to one of the crystals that is like particularly tall or maybe it's caged or something. And then you can just like shoot a lot of the other ones. Wow, this is a tall tower. And the- it's going right here. But, but I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay. I didn't bring any empty bot- In fact, I didn't even bring the strength potions. I completely forgot about them. Uh-oh. So- so one thing you don't want to do is like- Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, that! Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, that. That! Ah, I'm dying! And... Yes! Okay, this is scary. Maybe I should have made slow falling potions. Ah, ah. Okay, we're fine.
Okay, yes. Alright, we got a good chunk of his health at hand. I almost looked at an Enderman. So yeah, my 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 armor is gonna be pretty good. Uh, okay, there we go. And there we go. Sixty-eight levels. What a nice number to have. Whew, that was a long one. I didn't want to cut it down too much because I wanted to show the entire journey, and also I wanted to be able to defeat the Ender Dragon in one episode. It took a while to make, but that's not why this video took so long to release. It's because I've been on vacation and I couldn't really tell you because I don't have community posts so I just have to wait till the next video to do it so yeah I didn't quit YouTube you probably could tell already but I'm testing out the replay mod and I decided the first thing I wanted to do was just clean up the end I thought that might be kind of fun I was thinking of doing a build today but really once I get an elytra and shulker boxes it'll be so much easier to build I have so many things planned it's going to be very exciting I think the next few episodes will definitely be much higher quality than what's been going on so far you could probably tell that the mic wasn't quite loud enough. A lot of the end segments had very loud ender dragon moments and so I just had to cut that down a bit so that there is as little as possible and so hopefully future videos it'll be very easy and clear to hear me. If you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing. I've worked very hard on it and it would mean so much to me and I will see you in the next episode where I will be building the pirate cove. Bye!